Hi, Stark Centeno. And what if you have CCI and you get thoracic or upper back pain? Are those two things connected? The answer is usually. Now, there's two different concepts here. The first is that you have CCI, and that's actually causing your upper back pain because there are long muscles that attach between the upper back and the upper cervical spine. And we see that one quite a bit. The other one is that you're getting irritation in the lower neck and that frequently refers to the upper back. So that could be cervical facets or even lower cervical nerves from a disc bulge down there, which is fairly common in CCI patients, meaning those patients have an upper neck issue and a lower neck issue. So at the end of the day, upper back pain is fairly common in CCI patients. Now, when we treat our CCI patients, we're frequently treating the upper neck and lower neck if that's needed, or even the upper back directly or thoracic spine directly. And that might be an irritated nerve from a thoracic disc bulge, for example, or some of those muscle tendons I talked about, the long ones that go from the upper back to the upper cervical spine. So this is a common thing for us to see and a common thing for us to treat. And again, our focus is always trying to treat the whole patient, not just the upper neck. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that helps you understand this better. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.